So in this segment, we're going to be talking about Matt Hancock potentially profiting from NHS um, and NHS contracts. So um, this is this is all very confusing. I don't know if this is as bad as when I first heard about this story, which was this morning. Um, but yeah, this this story is very um, strange. So. Matt Hancock owns shares in a company which was approved as a potential supplier for NHS Trust in England. It has emerged. So Matt Hancock has about, I think, so 15 or 20 percent share, depending on which article you read, in this company called Topwood Limited. So who are Topwood Limited? Topwood Limited deal with, um, you know, destroying paper. Um, so um, things like paper shredding. Uh, there was also a few more like digitization. So you digitize your live and archived, uh, sorry, archive, archive documents for easy cloud-based access, save space, support home-based working, and enjoy a new flexible approach to managing your information. So they work mainly in shredding of documents and also digitizing documents. So Matt Hancock has a 15% share in this company and it was gifted. These shares were gifted to him by his older sister, um, I think, who has a larger share in the company. Um, I think it's his older brother and older sister who have shares in the company. Definitely his sister, not sure about the brother. Anyways, in March, he declared he had acquired more than 15% of Topwood Limited, which was granted um, the approved status in 2019. So it's not clear if Matt Hancock pushed to get this company on the approved list um, because he didn't actually disclose that his sister um, worked for the firm and there would be a conflict of interest or sorry, had a part ownership of the firm. So the firm specializes in the securely in secure storage, shredding and scanning of documents, also won a £300,000 uh, contract of business from NHS Wales this year. A government spokesperson said there had been no conflict of interest, but evidently, you know, because this, this contract came from NHS Wales, not NHS England. So again, it gets very strange because he benefited from a contract. Um, that was given by NHS Wales, which apparently has nothing to do with NHS England, since NHS Wales is run by Labour. Um, so, again, I don't know how... This is very dodgy, because he shouldn't... No no MP or minister should own shares in any company. Like, your ministerial salary and your MP salary should be enough. You should not be advising any, any companies. You should not be on the board of directors. You should have no shares, no financing from any other company. Because you are paid far more, far uh, you are paid enough to, um, you know, survive as an MP, especially because of the um, expenses you have, and also the fact that you don't want to be seen as someone who is being uh, showing favoritism to any company. Um, especially since Matt Hancock is the health secretary, and this company got a contract from NHS Wales, which is still part of, you know, the NHS. So, again, you know, it may maybe what Matt Hancock done has done is nothing wrong in the sense of he's abided by you know the regulations and all that stuff but it's very dodgy that um he owns shares in a company that is on the um, nhs approved list especially since he is a the minister of you know health and social care and the fact that this contract this company has taken a contract with and you know nhs wales it's very strange especially since they were offered you know they were paid three hundred thousand pounds um and given that the company according to this website here company check um is net worth is eighty seven thousand pounds and their current assets are only a hundred and eight um thousand pounds so they've been given a huge contract i think given to given to them potentially um it looks strange to me at least because the assets this company has is very low compared to the contract but this is the contract is over a number of years it's not for one year um so you know matt hancock said he acted you know entirely properly um but labor said there was cronyism at the heart of government especially this coming off the back of you know what's happening with david cameron which we'll be talking about at some point so in march of this year uh matt hancock declared in the mp's registry um of interest that he had acquired more than 15% of the shares in Topwood. So he has about 20% from what I've read from another article under a delegated management arrangement. And I don't know what the hell that means, but according to the independent, he was gifted these shares. So that's what makes it look even more dodgy that he was gifted some shares to a company and potentially got them onto the NHS England uh, approval list. 
So public contract records show that the NHS in England awarded the company a place in its shared business services framework as a potential supply for local trusts in 2019. So they got onto the approval list the year after Matt Hancock became secretary. The MPs register did not mention that his sister, Emily Gilruth, um, was involved in the firm since its foundation in 2002. So again, it's very strange that he did not mention his sister has um, part ownership of the firm. So, you know, they've been outed. So Matt Hancock has been outed by Guido Fawkes, which is hilarious um, because there's some right wing rag um, and health service journal. So, um, you know, it says here that the minister, um, the ministerial code states that ministers should declare interests of close family if they are believed to create a conflict of interest. But the thing is, Matt Hancock can argue there is no conflict of interest because he was not involved in this contract because this contract was given out by NHS Wales when he is not in charge of that. But it's potentially true that he got them onto the this company onto the NHS approval list. So it, it is bizarre. Um, this whole thing is bizarre. So. Official records show that shredding company Topwood um, Limited of Wrexham was awarded a three-year £150,000 contract from NHS Wales for confidential waste destruction last month. So um, the BBC have said it's a £300,000 contract. So th clearly they've been given multiple contracts worth around £300,000, um, which is a lot of money for such a small business. Um, the award came just after Matt Hancock took on a 20% share in the company, which was part owned by his sister, um, it is understood that the health secretary has no direct involvement in running the company, but neither Topwood nor the Department of Health and Social Care were immediately able to provide an explanation of why he was gifted the share. So it's possible that maybe his sister kind of nudged him into getting this company onto the NHS approved list for um, contractors. Um, or maybe she gave it for... I mean, why would you give up 20% of your business? to you know even if it's your brother 20 percent is a lot to give up so again it's very strange you know as health as health is devolved um to the welsh government neither hancock nor dhsc had any decision making um in nhs wales tender so if you know there is no suggestion that he could have influenced the awarding of the contract um he said that he had received more than 15 percent of the country's share like we've mentioned um Official um, documents show that Topwood was selected um, on March the 8th from five bidders in a competitive tendering process to provide an on-site confidential waste destruction service for Betsy um, Cardwaller's health board covering North Wales. So there were five companies that bid for this contract and, you know, this company Topwood got it, um, which does show you that it wasn't just handed out um, untended like other contracts have been by the government during the pandemic. So, uh, again, it's very strange, you know, um, you know, the independent called Topwood to ask questions relating to Matt Hancock's role and they were told no comment before um, the person hung up the call. So, you know, th the conflict of interest is that he has shares within a company that has bid for NHS contracts. But the problem is these contracts are for NHS Wales, um, which is devolved compared to NHS um, England. So, you know, he has obviously profited from this contract. He owns a 20% share in the business. And so whatever profit the company would make, he would get some sort of dividend from having shares if this is a dividend based company or as the company grows, his shares will be worth more. So when he sells them off, he'll make more money, especially since the shares were apparently gifted to him. But I don't think this is, this situation is as bad as the other ones or even as bad as the David Cameron situation where he lobbied the minister, he lobbied ministers directly and treasury officials into um, getting green sill loans and other things from the government's COVID loan scheme. So what's the takeaway from this video, you might be asking, because I'm very confused and I bet you're very confused. So Matt Hancock has shares in a company called Topwood Limited. 20% share that he was gifted by his sister and this company is also on the NHS approved list uh, for contractors a year after Matt Hancock uh, became health secretary so it's very possible that he has had nothing to do with most of this stuff it'd be very strange um, but yeah he didn't say that there was a conflict of interest because his sister um, has a large share in the business also the fact that this contract 
that um, top word limited was given uh, was given by NHS Wales, which is run by Labour, rather than NHS England, which is run by the Tories. So it's very possible that Matt Hancock had no say in this contract being handed out, but he is benefiting from kind of the NHS using private companies um, to do, you know, carry out work. And it's possible that, you know, the NHS couldn't do this. Um, it's doubtful that the NHS couldn't set up the facilities for, you know, waste management and the destruction of um, confidential documents. Um, it's possible that the NHS contracted this out, so then they would be less liable if things go wrong. Who knows at this point? But what is clear is that Matt Hancock has benefited from NHS privatisation because this contract was given to a private firm and Matt Hancock is directly benefiting from this because he owns shares in the company that have gotten it. It's possible that maybe NHS, um, the people who were bidding, who were giving out the contract, spoke to Matt Hancock potentially, but that's not been listed in these articles. So again, this is a very strange circumstance. I don't think this is as bad as the other stuff we've seen, but you know, my argument stands that ministers should not have shares or in any company should not be advising in any company. They shouldn't be in a blind trust they should be sold once you become once you become an mp you should have to sell off any assets any shares um you have and you should get off you should stop advising any companies that you're advising because that's that creates a conflict of interest and in this case matt hancock may have done absolutely nothing wrong um you know legally but you know morally this looks very dodgy and labor will run on this especially on the back of the contracts that were handed out to companies and off the back of what David Cameron has done this week so Matt Hancock may have you know just gotten unlucky here um because of the situation that the um kind of the Tories are embroiled in especially since he's been up to some less than great things at DHSC when it comes to giving out contracts but um yeah in this case he may not have done much wrong morally you know it looks very dodgy that he has shares in a company that got contracts from the NHS but that is from NHS Wales but I am at risk of rambling on and on and on trying to figure out this whole situation I'm going to leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one